today we're going to take it a little bit easier. Um, we're going to be uh, tying a fly called the $3 dip. Um, it's going to be a bead head fly. Um, I've got my bead primed and ready to go on my uh, handy bead tool here. Um, we'll be using uh, some sheer 14 knot red um, and you can use lots of different colors here. Um, we're just going to use red today. Uh, we'll also be using some uh, brassy size um, ultra wire in silver. Uh, we will use one or two strands of uh, crystal flash, um, which kind of looks like this. And we'll also be um, tapping back into our um, bleached uh, deer hair um, for this fly. So I still have it handy from the last fly I tied. So we're going to start out today um, just by putting the bead on the bead head fly here. I'm using the tool that I, I think I've shown in another video. Um, so I'm just going to get that hook um, up there and hopefully see that it's now on there. Again, I love that tool. I'm just going to let that sink up towards the, the bend of the hook or the eye of the hook. And we're just going to put it in our vise. like so okay the hook i have in the vise is a, it's a size 16 scud hook um and i've got a, a 7 64 uh, uh silver bead on it and i'm going to start my red thread right here behind the bead and then i am just going to work back just to secure that thread onto the shank of the hook i don't need to take it too far back um, but um, we're just securing the thread we'll bring it back up to just behind the bead. Um, I'll hold up my tag end here and I'll just clip that off. And we're ready to start working on this thing. Okay, so the $3 dip is uh, a thread body with a wire coming up it. Um, it's got a little shuck of hair coming out the back and um, you can add crystal flash, which I'm, I, I'll do um, with this particular one today. Now that we've got our thread secured to the hook, we're gonna put on our, our silver wire and I'm gonna tuck that inside of the bead, just a, a hair. We'll just kind of help it stay in place a little bit. Uh, not essential, but uh, something I, I typically do. And now I'm gonna just bring my thread down um, around and I'm gonna go fairly deep um, here. I'm gonna keep that thread or that wire um, right up against the side of the hook there on the far side closest to the lens. And I'm just gonna take some wraps down fairly, like I said, fairly deep here. Um, and that's where the body of this fly is actually going to start is where um, I stop with the thread um, and that's where the silver will start when we start to rib this thing. Um, so now all we need to do is um, we want to build a slight taper in this and so I want it skinny it, towards the bend of the hook where that silver wire is coming out. I want it a little thicker um, as I get closer to the eye of the hook and to do that I'm just going to take wraps backwards um, a portion you know maybe three quarters of the way down um, but not all the way down to the bend of the hook but uh, about yeah that far then we'll come back up um, trying to take touching turns as much as you can just because we're working on building some bulk, bulk here so it's those touching turns are about bulk they're not about um, uh, you know covering anything up so now we're going to go a little bit further down but not quite as far as last time and we'll come back up again And we will do that a couple more times. This time we're gonna go a little bit less and then back up to the eye of the hook behind the bead. And then we will do that one more time, but just a little bit further. So now you can see um, we've got some paper uh, going on, which is what we want. I don't want a really thick, huge body here. Um, and you can vary this fly now. Um, just based on the thread that you're using because that silver wire and that thread are really the only ingredients here um, for, for building up the body. Uh, this is a time where I will use my whip, whip finisher um, because I want to make sure that I tie uh, a knot right behind the, the bead here. And if you use the half hitch, if you're good, you can probably do it just fine. But um, sometimes when I do the half hitch on a fly like this with a bead on it, um, I end up getting a knot behind the eye of the hook. That's not where I want it. I want my knot behind 
the back side of the bead. And the reason I'm doing the knot is just because I, I want to use my bobbin cradle. So we'll go ahead and move our bobbin cr cradle up into position. That's going to allow me to use my rotary um, on my vise without worrying about the thread coming undone. Um, I've got my silver wire, I'm holding it straight up, and I just keep it held straight up, and the rotation is going to occur um, with the jaws of the vise, um, rather than me trying to wrap silver um, over the top and underneath and over the top and underneath. And our goal here is to get a fairly um, consistent, um, evenly spaced uh, wraps of the silver wire as we move up the body um, of this uh, fly. Okay, so we're getting close to the, the end here. Now we're right up behind the silver. Um, so with most material at this point, I would, I would keep hold of it. Um, if I let go of like a uh, pheasant uh, tail or um, some other form of ribbing, um, it would just come undone if I let go. But because this is metal, um, silver wire, I can let go of it. It's not gonna go anywhere. And we'll move our bobbin cradle out of the way. Hit my light with my hand. We'll just take a few wraps here behind that silver wire and then we'll pull the silver wire back towards the bend of the hook and we'll just throw in another couple of thread wraps here. Um, not necessarily to secure it, we're, we're building up some bulk here. So from, from here I'm going to just uh, helicopter this thing off uh, using our friction. And there, you've, there you go, we've got, our, uh, we've got a nice body going there um, on this fly. So we're going to move on to our next material, which is going to be our, our deer hair. Um, and we're going to use the bleach uh, to make a really um, bright wing here. Okay, so I've got a nice little clump of uh, deer hair, and this is the bleach, so it's going to be very white, um, which is what you want. And I still have some under fur in here, so I'm going to use my, my comb here and just, you know, insert my deer hair like that let it run through it'll grab a couple of those fibers but it's getting rid of that under under fur uh, which is going to make uh, make sure that this deer hair um, secures tightly um, to the to the hook um, in this case I don't need to stack it um, because we're going to just clip it off anyway um, so I'm not too worried about um, you know getting those the the ends perfect and i'm going to tie it in from the tips first with the cut ends heading towards the back of the hook and i'm going to just hold th that clump between my thumb and my forefinger um, just like that i'm going to give my thread a counterclockwise turn um, that will help ensure that when i do my wrap it's going to the thread's going to come back up against my fingers um, and now that I have that secure, I've got this between my, my finger and my uh, forefinger. I'm actually just going to set my finger and forefinger down onto the hook, just like that. So at this point, I'm actually pinching both the hook and I'm pinching the, the deer hair clump. Um, and you'll see the thread is doing what I want it to do, which is kind of stay back. Um, so we'll just take a couple of thread turns here uh, to get that deer hair secured into place. And it looks really messy. Um, you, you do want to make sure the back end of this is um, stays aiming towards the back end of the uh, hook. Um, from here, we're going to do a little bit of uh, house cleaning. We're going to uh, just basically cut these tips um, out of here. And if I hadn't been quite so messy, it would have been a lot easier. Um, but hey. We'll clip one side at a time here. And again, I, I do want that pretty close. Um, we're going to clean that up with our thread wraps. It's a good place to cut your thread off, too. <coughs> Another reason I like the rotary vise. Um, I can turn it upside down like that. i um, used to um, try to do that kind of trimming, and then I would end up inadvertently um, cutting the thread um, when that's not really what I intended to do. So we've got that cleaned up a little bit here. And so all we're gonna do, I'm gonna keep hold of that, um, that wing here, and we're just gonna kind of put some thread wraps in here um, that's going to build a little nice little collar um, around the, the deer hair. It's gonna cover up those butt ends and it's gonna help secure that, uh, that 
uh, bead into place. That bead's not going anywhere. At this point, we're going to go ahead and trim the deer hair off. And I'm going to want that deer hair about half the body length. And so I'm going to gr grab every single fiber and I'm pulling them back a little bit. And I'm going to sneak my scissors in here and try to get this in one cut if I possibly can. And I did, um, with the exception of those couple right there. Um, so there we go. Um, we've got our deer hair in there. That's why we didn't need to stack it because we're cutting both ends of it. Um, and the last uh, step is we're going to put on our crystal flash. Um, this is really optional. So I've got my crystal flash here. I'm going to um, pinch this against the near side of the hook um, towards me um, and, and tie that and I'm going to take a couple of wraps just to hold that into place. So I've got one now coming back towards the back of the hook. I want this one on the far side closest to the lens. And I'm going to put it over on the other side of the hook. Um, so I've just pulled it back and uh, tried to make sure that it's, you know, aligned right against the side of the, that hook there. And um, we've got a nice red hot spot kind of going on the fly. At this point, we're going to whip finish and we're going to clip off our crystal flash. And we will be um, dipping with a $3 dip. We'll be done. So we'll just take a, a few thread wraps here just to... Uh, don't need to build up much bulk anymore because um, we already did. But um, this is going to put the knot in it that we want. We can put away our whip finisher. We can grab our scissors. Um, and we'll go ahead and cut that thread uh, right right about there. The wing, these uh, wing thingies um, of crystal flash, I'm just going to pull them backwards. And I want them about the length of the hook. So I'm going to open up my scissors, but put the bottom of them right against the bend of the, the back of the hook there. And that will help the size, uh, make sure I get the, the right size going on here. So there you go. I've got it there. Let's clean this up just a hair. I've got little fibers that nobody but me can see. That's not true. I'm using a macro lens, so you probably can see it too. And so that's it. Um, that, that is the, it's a $3 dip. So the last thing that I would do here is um, just throw on a little bit of head cement um, on those wraps on the top. And I'm going to get my trusty sewing pin out. Um, my cement has got the lid off, got some on the end of my sewing pin, and I'm just going to let that sit kind of on the top and that will be just fine. I'm not trying to make that look beautiful. I'm just trying to uh, ensure those thread wraps stay um, really good. Um, here's the $3 dip, really easy fly to tie, very few materials, crystal flash, deer hair, thread, wire. Um, certainly you need a bead and a hook too. Mm -hmm.